Hi everyone! Welcome back. This is Sierra and today I'm here because this. favorite things about, well, not one of my favorite things, but one thing that I love about ordering from the kitchen is that, um, is that when your items come shipped to you, you get a little card with the person's picture on it who made it. So I guess Sam, yeah, Sam, thank you so much for making this for me. All right, so right on top of the box is the product we've all been waiting for. And ever since I ordered it, I irrationally checked my mail every single day, even 24 hours. So this came out on a Friday, so the next Saturday, no joke, I wanted to check the mail. I knew it wasn't there, but I checked anyway. <laughs> so the item I'm talking about is the amazing Christingle Body Conditioner. When I first tried Christingle Body Conditioner in the store, I wasn't sure if I liked it, because when you open it and you look inside, <sighs> Let's take a minute for the scent of the crypt. Just let's take a moment. <sighs> yes. Okay. So when I first tried the Christingle body conditioner in the store, I wasn't sure if I liked it because when you open it up and you look at it, the color, even though it's a beautiful blue color, it initially reminded me of the looks and the smell of toothpaste. Because at that time in my life, I wasn't, I was still using a standard toothpaste that came in a tube. Um, but now, sit here and I smell it. Okay. Christingle Body Conditioner is scented by two different types of mint, peppermint and spearmint. And the other notes in the product are grapefruit oil and cassia oil. Cassia? Cassia? I don't know. Let's just call it sea oil. So peppermint oil, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, grapefruit, and sea oil. <laughs> Christingle body conditioner works similarly for your skin as a hair conditioner does for your hair. What I like to do is as soon as I'm ready to get out of my shower, I take the body conditioner and I just put it all over myself and then wait about maybe a minute rinse it off and I'm good to go and I don't have to put on any body lotion. So, <sighs> Lush, I beg of you, bring this back because in December I will be out and then I will cry. So, please bring this back. Please, please. Or bring something in this scent at least so I can at least cry but still smell it. Now that I've been talking about Chris Dingle body, body conditioner for way too long, let's see what else is in the box. The next discontinued item that I have in my box is Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar. Pop in the Bath is a little bit smaller than the other bubble bars, but um, I decided to pick this up because it is being discontinued and I hadn't had a chance to try it yet. And it's been on my wish, wish list for a good long time. So, scents in Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar are, I smell, I smell mandarin oil, Maybe lemon oil. I'm not sure. Let's check the list. I was right! So, fragrances in Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar are bergamot oil, lemon oil, orange flower, and mandarin oil. So, this is going to be a really fun bath. I can tell. And not only does Pop in the Bath, bath smell amazing, it's so cute! It sort of reminds me of a hat that I would have worn when I was a little girl on a headband, I think. I don't know, but I love it. Yes, okay, I found it. The other Ultra Blast tooth powder is right here. It just wasn't in the same box. So, blush, I never doubted you for a minute. I knew it was here. I was a little nervous because I didn't want to have to order a whole box of this. 
you know I would. All right, let's put this with the others. I think we're gonna have Ultra Blast Tooth Powder probably through March next year. We have three, three waiting in our bathroom and three more. So that is September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yep, through March. Hey, hey, what are you doing? That's not for you. Mutt stealing my water. Oh, oh, uh-oh, that's not good. We'll take this one, got slightly wet in shipping. Um, as you can see outside, it is dark and gross, and it is starting to pour rain right now. So I guess that makes sense that maybe these got a little bit wet, but I'm glad I'm unpacking them now and not tomorrow. So next item that is being discontinued that I haven't had a chance to try and I wanted to try is the Lava Lamp Bath Bomb. Okay. The, lava lamp, the Lava Lamp Bath Bomb, to me, when I just look at it, and also the scent at the same time, to me, it looks like the Yoga Bomb Bath Bomb, but it has the little purple spots on it that makes your bath look like a lava lamp. Key ingredients in the Lava Lamp Bath Bomb are tangerine oil, orange flower absolute, and Sicilian mandarin oil. This bath is gonna be pretty groovy, baby. Okay, the next item that I ordered is, oh, gross, gross. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it for just a sec. I'll tell you fast, so I don't have to touch it anymore. It is the Yuzu and Coco Bubble Bar. It is a bubble rune, and so the top and bottom is bubble bar, and in the inside is, I believe, the inside cream, if you will, is cocoa butter. Cocoa and avocado butter. Okay, cocoa and avocado butter. Oh, it smells spectacular. I can't believe I only ordered one of them. I only ordered one because I hadn't had a chance to try it, but what was I even thinking? Okay, so key ingredients are bananas, shea butter, tonka, cocoa absolute, tonka absolute, grapefruit oil, bergamot oil. smells so good. This one is really mushy from, it looks, I guess my package got pretty wet. Um, so I'm going to have to contact my local mail carrier and see if, see if they can give me an explanation. I don't even know. Maybe it's just time for that bath I was talking about. I don't know. We'll see. The next discontinued item was the biggest surprise for me and a lot of my friends that love it. And that item is the frozen bath bomb. The frozen bath bomb has the same scent as the Your Mother Should Know Bubble Bar, which I just reviewed on my channel. So take it up with a link down below. When Lush released that they were discontinuing this item, not gonna lie, I cried a little on the inside. Maybe on the outside too. Definitely cried on the inside. Use your imagination for the rest. Anyway, um, the this bath bomb I don't know why I haven't demoed yet dem demoed it yet it's amazing um, this bath bomb literally in the bath it looks like melting ice and leaves your bath a beautiful frozen like Elsa colored water with beautiful glitter everywhere lush what are you doing all of us deserve an explanation so. Because I was really upset, and I accidentally got one, two, three. Hopefully they'll come in the kitchen by the time I get through these three. The last and final item that I have in my box is from the regular range, and it is not, 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 not being discontinued, is my favorite bath bomb ever. And it is the intergalactic bath bomb. Intergalactic smells of peppermint and it turns your bath into a beautiful blue galaxy, basically. All right, friends, well, that concludes my August 2017 Lush Kitchen and Discontinued Items haul. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think of all of these products. Have you tried them before? Which ones are your favorites? And if you're a fan of the Frozen Bath Bomb, let me know and please join me in telling Lush that they are making a terrible mistake. All right, see you next time. Bye.